a quick video of the ozone machine. Uh, getting a messed around by my camera, uh, so it's not very clear, I'm afraid. Uh, that's the timer, and that's the LCD display. There's the two air pump switches, and there's the oxygen concentrator connector on the right, and the ozone output on the left. There's the power connector. And basically, there's a air stain in a two litre kiln jar with water in. So, there's the ozone output adjustment, which is set on zero. I'm going to set that to maximum, and I'm going to turn the machine on for 15 seconds. That's round for see the timer. That's round for 15 seconds, and then it's 00, zero m that means the timer won't come on again. So <clears throat> when we reset the machine, it will run exactly the same cycle. And on maximum power, all it takes is 15 seconds to sterilise that water. Okay, so yeah, there's the timer, uh, which obviously you can adjust the settings on that. There's the power usage display, and that shows that's only used 2 watts. Uh, you've got two air switches, so if we turn that air switch on, and then reset the machine, that's now working with both air pumps. Very powerful. Uh, and obviously that's set on max. Just quickly again, you'll see the ozone output on the left and the oxygen concentrator input on the right. If you want to use the oxygen concentrator, all you've got to do is plug it in and then turn these off. Okay, I'm not going to run the machine with no air going through it because that isn't advised. So again, if we just want one air pump, 15 litres a minute, we'll do that. Turn the machine on off and then on again you can hear a slight strange uh, high-pitched humming sound that's the ozone being created so yeah but that's the machine very nice bit of kit obviously brand new in a box with all the tubes and the pipes and that air stone uh, so yeah let me know if you want to order one I can make further videos of how to do certain things <coughs> when you get the machine uh, but that is the basic setup for purifying water I'll just run it one more time I'll change the timer to 20 25 seconds okay turn the machine on off and then on again It's running on full power, so you know how many watts it uses in full power. So there, that's reached a 25 seconds indicated by the timer, and then it stopped, and it won't come on again until you reset the machine, turn it on and off at the back. Uh, what you must do, if you want to reset the timer, if you want to change the timer, do it with the machine off, and the next time the machine comes on, it will... Uh, start on the new cycle. So if you wanted to run 25 seconds on and then 99 minutes off, you could do that. It's quite easy to use. So yeah, that's it for now. <coughs> and the machines, I've got six of them. They're 700 pounds with a three-year warranty. And yeah, very nice bit of kit. Sorry about the quality of the video. I was having a lot of problems with my camcorder battery, so I just wanted to use my mobile phone. Alright, thanks for now. See you later.